In this video, I will introduce the method of Lagrange multipliers using a very simple numerical example. Let's say our goal is to minimize this function. Uh, obviously, the minimum value of this function is 0 if x is 0, y is 0, z is 0, and u is 0. However, if we need to minimize this function under a constraint, x plus y plus 2z plus 2 equals 9, and then the minimum value of this function can no longer be 0. Why? Because we have to satisfy this. So if y equals z equals u is 0, x cannot be 0. x must be 9. And then the function value here becomes 81. So then how do we minimize a function under a constraint? Well, we can do the traditional variable substitution. We can set x equals 9 minus y minus 2z minus 2u. That will help us to uh, reduce the number of variables from 4 to 3 and also incorporate the constraint here. By substituting x with 9 minus y minus 2z minus u. And then we take the first derivative of this function with respect to y, z, and u, we can solve this function, we can obtain the minimum value. However, this can be very tedious if we have a huge number of variables. So I'm going to introduce you to this method of Lagrange multiplier that can be used to uh, solve this kind of problems systematically. And the first, we need to define a Lagrange function, also known as Lagrangian. And usually it's a curly L, but for convenience, we'll just use uh, uh, just regular L instead of this curly L hereafter. So first, how do we uh, define this L? L is simply the function you want to minimize or maximize. It doesn't matter. So this is a function, uh, in this case, we want to minimize this function. And then minus alpha. Okay, alpha is a Lagrange multiplier. Times, okay, over here, that's the constraint. So what is this constraint? Okay, x plus y plus 2z plus 2u equals 9. Therefore, x plus y plus 2z plus 2u minus 9 is always 0. So really, this part is always 0. So really, we're just incorporating this constraint in this L, but not changing the value of this function. So by minimizing L, we are also minimizing this function under this constraint. All right, so this is called Lagrangian or Lagrange function. Now we're going to minimize L under this constraint. And again, alpha is called a Lagrange multiplier. And then to minimize L, we have to uh, set DL equals D, uh, divided by dx equals 0, dl over dy is 0, dl over dz equals 0, dl over du equals 0. So remember, over here, this is the constraint. This always equals 0, and it doesn't matter what the value of alpha is. So this is the <coughs> uh, clever part of defining this Lagrangian. All right, so uh, dl over dx is 2x minus, over here, this is minus just alpha, dl over dy over here, you get 4y, over here you get minus alpha. Similarly, we have dl over dz, dl over du, so we get four linear functions. And really, those are uh, simple functions. Alpha equals 2x, alpha equals 4x, 2 alpha equals 8z, 2 alpha equals 4u, and therefore x equals 1 half of alpha, y equals 1, ha uh, one quarter of alpha, z is 1 quarter of alpha, u equals uh, one half of alpha. So really x, y, z, and u can be expressed in terms of alpha now. And because of the constraint over here, we plug in the expressions of x, y, z, and u here. And we have this uh, uh, linear equation that contains only one variable alpha, and then alpha equals four. All right, after you solve this, this is just uh, uh, 2.25 alpha equals nine, alpha equals four. And then we plug in the value of alpha back in here, 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 and here, we get the value of x, y, and z. And u, x equals 2, y equals 1, z is 1, u is 2. And then we can minimize this uh, function. Uh, the minimum value is 18 by plugging in those uh, numbers. And also, you can double check this uh, four numbers, this values of x, y, z, and u uh, satisfy this uh, equation.
of constraint. All right, so uh, in summary, if you want to minimize or op uh, maximize a function f of, uh, for example, four variables on a constraint, uh, this constraint is uh, another function of this four variables equals zero. So what if uh, this uh, function uh, of uh, x, y, z and u equals uh, something else, you simply just uh, use the left hand side minus right hand side and then you get zero. Okay, make sure your constraint is a function equals zero. All right, and then we set the uh, Lagrangian. The Lagrangian equals the function to be optimized, either minimize or maximize, minus, over here, alpha is uh, the so-called Lagrange multiplier uh, times uh, the constraint. And over here, because this g is always equal to zero, that means by uh, minimizing or maximizing L, we are simultaneously minimizing and maximizing this F. And also, because alpha can be uh, any value and g is always zero, this means we're minimizing or maximizing this F under the constraint, uh, which is this g is always equal to zero. Again, uh, uh, by uh, uh, minimizing the cell, uh, we get four additional equations, one for each variable. Uh, by doing dl over dx equals zero, dl over dy equals zero, and so on, we have four more equations. And plus we have one constraint. So our constraint in uh, this uh, numerical example is this. Anyway, we have a total of five functions and five variables, x, y, z, u, and alpha. We solve this uh, five equations. We obtain the values of the five variables. Um, I will post another video in which uh, uh, I will minimize or maximize a function uh, under two different constraints.